Hello and welcome back to Surfer 22's new feature video series. Today I will expand on our previous video, creating an alpha shape, by walking you through assigning no data to an alpha shape. You can follow the link in the video description to see our previous video. An alpha shape allows you to create a tight polygon boundary around a set of data points and can be applied to a surface in several ways. First, an alpha shape can be created directly and used to assign no data in the grid data dialog. Open the grid data dialog by clicking grids, grid data, selecting your input data, and then clicking skip to end. Use this option if you are starting out with XYZ data points listed in a text file. You can choose whether to create the shape in the dialog or upload an existing alpha shape. This same process can also be used to create and assign no data directly from the Grid from Contours dialog. Click Grids, Grid from Contours to open the dialog and use the Grid from Contours option if you have contour lines in a vector file format. Finally, if you already have an alpha shape in a base layer, it can be applied to an existing grid using the Assign No Data dialog. To do this, click Grids, Edit, Assign No Data, select your grid in the Input Grid section, then select your alpha shape contained in an open base vector layer. Choose to assign no data inside, outside, or mixed, then finally click OK to add your newly blanked layer to the map. That is how you assign no data using an alpha shape in Surfer 22 and above. Stay tuned as we continue to release more videos highlighting our new features, and for more information, visit our website goldensoftware.com.